Hello, in this video we're going to give a very careful proof of the statement. So let y be a subspace of a metric space x. Then a subset u of y is open in y, if and only if, u is equal to v intersected with y for some open subset v of x. So let's go ahead and go through the entire proof very carefully. I'm going to try to include as much detail as I can, so hopefully this helps you. So proof. So first we have to talk about what it means for a subset u of y to be open in y. So first note, a subset, and I'll use a different symbol, O of y is open in y. if for all x in O, there exists some r greater than zero, such that the open ball centered at x of radius r intersected with y is contained entirely in O. And I wanna make the point here that this is actually the open ball in y. So note, bxr intersected with y is the open ball in y. And this is because, well, y is a subspace. So because the metric, let's call it d prime from y cross y into r, is the restriction to y cross y of the metric on x, so of the metric d from x cross x into r on x. So basically, um, normally open balls are defined in a way uh, as follows. Let me just do it up here, so normally B X R, this is the set of all Y and X, such that the distance between X and Y is less than R. So for an open ball, for it to be an open ball in Y, it needs to say Y and Y. So one way to do that is to intersect it with Y. And basically now you're just basically restricting the metric, which is what a subspace does, right? It's just a metric space, but your metric is restricted to you know elements of y cross y. Okay, now that's at that now that that is out of the way because that's very important. Um, we can go ahead and go through the proof. So let's prove this direction first. So for this direction, we're going to assume that u equals v intersect y for some open subset V of X. So I'll say, suppose U equals V intersected with Y for some open subset V of X. And the claim is that U is open in Y. So Basically, to show u is open in y, we have to show every point is an interior point. So we'll take an element in u. So I'll say take any x in u. So what does that mean? So then that means that x is in the intersection. So x is in v and x is in y because it's in the intersection it's in both of these. Now let's use the fact that V is open in X. So since X is in V and V is open in X, there exists a positive number, which I'll call R, such that the open ball centered at X of radius R is contained entirely in V. That's because V is open in X. So then, if we take this open ball 
and we intersect it with y, we're basically restricting it to elements of you know y. So basically, this is the open ball in y, and this is contained in v intersect y, right? Because y is contained in y, this is contained in v, but that's equal to u. So we took any x in u, and we showed that there exists a positive number r such that the open ball in y is contained entirely in u. That's precisely what it means for x to be an interior point of u. Since this holds for all x, since this holds for all x in u, we have that u is open in y. And so that completes one direction of the proof. Let's now carefully do the other direction of the proof. So for the other direction of the proof, we assume that u, which is a subset of y, is open in y, and we have to show that it can be written this way. So we have to do a constructive proof. We have to basically construct v. So suppose u, which is a subset of y, is open in y. Okay, so it's open in y. So now we have to use this to somehow uh, construct a v. So then, for all x in u, since u is open in y, There exists some R which depends on X such that the open ball centered at X of radius R sub X intersected with Y, right, because it's open in Y, is contained entirely in U. So we're trying to construct um, some type of V here. We want to get an equality. And notice I said for all x and my radius depends on x. That's because I want to look at a union. So if we look at the union now, as x runs through u of the ball centered at x of radius r sub x intersected with y, this is a subset of u. It est. So this can be written a different way using some set theoretic operations. Basically, this is the same thing as saying the union as x runs through u of the open balls centered at x of radius r sub x intersected with y. And so this is actually a subset of u. So this is going to be our candidate for v, you see? Because we needed a v. That's why I decided to take the union and do it this way, right? Because we need to figure out what V is. And so now V appears here. So I'm going to say set V equal to this union. The union runs over X and U of the open balls centered at X of radius R sub X. Then we basically have that V intersected Y is a subset of u. Note that v is open. Note v is open in x because it is a union of open sets. The open ball itself is open in x. That requires proof, but it's something that uh, we can assume that you've done at this point if you're watching this video. So the union of open sets is open. So therefore, this is open. So now we just have to show that u is a subset of v intersect y, and then we have the desired equality, and then we are done with the proof. So to do that, um, let's just do it the old school way and just take an element here just to verify it. So just know it's really all already here in the proof. But let me just reiterate it. Note... For each x in u, which is a subset of y, okay, 
we have x and y. And so that takes care of this piece, right? Now we need to figure out why is it in V, right? So for each X and U, which is a subset of Y, we have X and Y. But let's think about why it's in V. Well, if X is in U, we know there exists some R sub X greater than zero, such that this is true, right? So that means that X is in here, right? Remember, X is an element in here. So and X is in BX R sub X for some positive r sub x. It's in one of the balls. So if it's in one of the balls, it's in the union of the balls as x runs through u. And here we have these open balls, which is equal to v. So we have x and y and x and v. So that means that x is going to be in the intersection of v and y. So this shows, running out of room here on my page, that U is a subset of V intersection Y. And so therefore, I'll put the three little dots here, therefore we have that U equals V intersect Y, where V is an open set, which we've already mentioned here and we've explained why. So that completes the proof. Extremely detailed, um, going over every little thing. Hopefully I did not miss anything. If you look in a textbook, it'll be a couple lines and they'll omit the details. And hopefully if you are unclear about this, um, some clarity has been added to your life. Uh, really, really nice proof. I hope this helps someone out there. Good luck.